Ooh. Look at that thing. I know. Sucking blood right now. I know. How do we keep them away without using all those chemicals on you? And how do you, what do you do when you get a bite, right? You scratch the heck out of it. Well, do, do you make the cross in it? Remember people? Yes, <laughs> with <laughs> your mother's fingernail. She would cut you <laughs> the one. <laughs> Too much. All right, listen, everybody has their own remedies. We're going to talk natural remedies today for summer's b biggest problems, right, from mosquito bites to jellyfish. So we have with us Dr. Edward La Madrid. Dr. Ed, you know him, the doctor of acupuncture and oriental medicine. Welcome back, sir. Welcome. Thanks. Thanks. All right. So this is kind of, how do I characterize it? New age, new wave? What, what are your, what's this your approach? This is natural medicine. Natural this, medicine. This has been around for a long time. Okay. And okay. so, so we've got a couple of summer things and we're going to have a little fun. We're going to do a little quiz now. Okay. Let's right. start. What's the first so thing? So the first thing. All right. So out of these three, what is the best for sunburn? Sunburn? Okay. So what do you so have? So we've got for butter, we've got oatmeal, or we've got lime. What about lotion? Seriously. From the, from the store. You think this is better. We're I just talking wanna, natural remedies. I just want to, you are submitting that this is better than the stuff that is marketed by the companies. No chemicals. No chemicals? All right, so which, what's my well, choice? And I'll tell you a secret. Lime, lime is going to burn. I know that one. Not lime. Oatmeal or butter? Uh... Oatmeal because he's trying to mess us up. I'm going to say butter because I want to put this all over. <laughs> it's, it's oatmeal, uh, isn't it? So the answer is oatmeal. And actually, so bing, let's, bing, bing, let's bing, go bing. back to what you were saying. So there are a lot of lotions out there that actually have oatmeal in it. See? Because it's good for the skin. So what you're doing is you get some ground oatmeal, take a bath. Wait all a second, right. ground oatmeal and what do I do with what do I put water in it? Milk? What? No, so you put it in the bath, in the bath water. In, oh, in the bath And tub. soak. Yeah, so it's got to be like normal oats, All like right. no apple cinnamon, none of that stuff. Just All right, regular oh, plain oats. oats. Doctor Ed, what's right. our next? Next, place? we've got mosquitoes, we've got ticks, we've got all kinds of bugs. Which of these three combinations are the best bug repellent? Right. Repellents? So, mango Repellent. and rose, <laughs> carnation and banana, or lemon and eucalyptus? It seems like all that will attract them. It no, will attract lemon the bugs. and eucalyptus. I would. Uh, <laughs> wait a second. Let me verify that before you start applying it. <laughs> what uh, happens if you want people who bug you? Uh, Back. <laughs> All right. What's the answer, Doctor? So Lavendry? the answer is lemon and eucalyptus. <laughs> Because if you do any kind of lotions or shampoos that are fruity scented or flowery, you are basically putting yourself on the mosquito menu. All right, listen. I, what about off? O F F. The spray. <laughs> I've been using it. You know, they've been throwing that stuff on me since I was four. Here's the problem. DEET is in it. DEET. Yeah, but the, the bugs hate DEET. Totally yeah. very effective, but there were side effects to it. But Neurological what? I'm side fine. effects. And I'm fine. I'm <laughs> fine. See? <laughs> <laughs> I think I need some more eucalyptus. <laughs> okay, all right, come on. All right, I'll be over here. All right, when all right. Be back no, no, I'll be now. back in a couple no, of minutes. I'll be back in two minutes. All right, so you already have a bite. You have right? a bite. What do you so do? So what is the best treatment? We're talking about a combination of witch hazel and baking soda, tea tree oil, or a cold compress. Mm. Or all of the above. I'm going to say witch hazel. So, right. <laughs> I'm back. You, Sorry. You are right, but it's all of the above, actually. Out of the three, the oh, best one is this. That's a trick question. That's a trick I question. I know, I know, but this is fun. I thought you were going for trick two minutes. Trick question. Right. Two minutes is up. So, cold compresses are actually good, but they only last as long and only for What do you think about the cross with the nail? Like, we in, into the skin? So, what you're the... trying to do is you're trying to actually pull the toxins out, but you're causing more inflammation. And scarring, oh. and you just go scratching it. There so you, go. you put these two together, make a paste, put it on. In ten minutes, the itching is gone, the inflammation is gone. Okay, okay. this one's mine. I'm taking this go, one. Go what do you it. got? Give, right. give us so, the question. So you're at the beach. You get stung by a jellyfish. What is the best? So white uh, vinegar, rubbing sand in it, or just water? Oh boy. Vinegar. You think so? I think you're sabotaging me. <laughs> vinegar. All right, vinegar. And vinegar is the answer. Wow! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Okay. If you rub sand in it, a lot of the tentacles from jellyfish are pressure sensitive. They will actually cause more toxins to be released. Ooh. And if you add just plain water, the same thing. More tax toxins will be released. If you don't have vinegar, salt water would be the best. Okay. All right, last. last we thing. still have summer allergies going on. Oh, a lot of mold, a lot of got stuff. Them. So here are some three uh, herbal remedies. We've got stinging nettles herb. Wait, which this is just for allergies in general? For allergies in general, yeah. Okay. Stinging nettles herb, chrysanthemum, or peppermint. What? For allergies in general? Give me allergy well, no, to what? This is more seasonal allergy. So your red eyes, sneezy, uh, irritable. Let's see. Here. Irritable. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> This stuff. 
Whatever this is, it smells, this is it. This is the key. Can we smell it? See, that's the opposite of uh, irritation. I can tell it's like a soothing thing. Singing yeah. nettles? All right, Hold singing on. nettles. It, it, smell, it smells bad, by the way, but I don't know. But this is the stuff, right? So it's actually all of the above, but oh, for different sure reasons. <laughs> so He's mad now. Peppermint tea is yeah. actually good to soothe the nasal uh, passages, mucous membranes. Chrysanthemum, if you get it into little tea bags, is actually great to reduce the redness in the eyes. You just make the tea, cool it down, put the tea bags on your eyes, redness is gone. Stinging nettles is like the antihistamine herb all around. Wrap it up. Doctor, and that's it. <laughs> All right. Doctor, that was great stuff. Thank you so sure much. Thing. We got to get ready. Yeah, we got to right. three. Uh, real quick, how, how do people find you if they want to find you? EdLamadrid.com. EdLamadrid.com. Yep. Cool. Thank awesome. you, sir. Thanks, Greg. Emblem three Thanks, coming up next.